Hey guys, Alicia here and welcome back to my channel, The Sea Life. If you're new here, please remember to hit that subscribe and notification button so you can get notified anytime a new video comes out. Today is all about a review that is long overdue. You guys, Masterbooks Science Collection for more of the elementary grade stuff. So go grab a drink, go grab a snack, come on back, sit down, and we are gonna dive into this review. I've had so many people ask me over actually the last 48 hours um, about the Masterbook Science stuff, and we're gonna dive into it. We're gonna look through the multiple different levels of the more elementary level science stuff with Masterbooks. Let's get into it. Okay, so you may be wondering why all of a sudden am I getting more questions? Well, it is coming to the time of year where most families that are homeschool families are winding down for their current school year because why? It's April, summer is coming, but they're looking to next year to figure out what their curriculum is going to be, what they're gonna do and all that stuff. So around this time of year is when a lot of homeschool curriculum questions get asked. So every spring, Masterbook sends out their beautiful catalog to those who are obviously in their mailing system because I have bought Masterbooks before, I'm in their, their mailing system. You can go online to Masterbooks and you can get a catalog sent to you. I know people are like, everything's digital now, but I am like an old school gal, okay? I love a good curriculum. I like sitting here at night when you know the kids are in bed and I'm snuggled up and I like flipping through this and reading it. I'm a physical person I need to see it for myself. We are going to talk all about their Adventures in Blank series. So they have a brand new one that just came out. I ordered it, it is on my way. It will be in this series, but it's not gonna be first in the series that I'm doing. So I'm gonna have a video for each kind of Adventures in Blank, right? Adventures in blankety blank blank. <laughs> There's different titles. They start with Adventures and then there's different titles after that. So they go from Adventures in the World Around Me, which is level K, to Adventures in Creation, which is level one or grade one, to Adventures in the Physical World, level two, grade two, to Adventures on the Planet Earth, level three, grade three, and Adventures in the Scientific, scientific Method, or grade four, level four. So two of them have just been released. One the Adventures in the World Around Me for Level K. I just purchased that on Masterbooks because um, I need to get a couple of things for next year. And then what is coming out summer of 2022, which I will be, the day it's released, be on it like white on rice, is Adventures in the Scientific Method. Now, they also have Life for Beginners, Heaven and Earth, and then, so Life for the Beginners is grade one through two, Heaven and Earth for, be for Beginners, grade one through two. Then they have just the regular life, which is supposed to be anywhere between grade three to grade eight. They have just regular Heaven and Earth, which is also, or God's design for Heaven and Earth, which is grades three through grade eight. They have the physical world, grade three through grade eight. God's design for chemistry and ecology, grades three through eight. These scientists are going to be more for the elementary and then junior level high school types. Now you're going to be wondering why, why do they have two different series in sciences? Why is it not just adventures in blank or the God's design? Personally, I don't really like the style of multi-level programs. I really want something that's going to be on the level that my child would be as in school. This having a wide range, there's some things that he was doing by himself and other things were kind of too advanced for him. So we put this one on the back burner, boop, on the back burner. Which one should you do? God's design of life for beginners or adventures in creation level one. You're just starting out, your kids are just starting elementary school and you are stuck on which one to do. Now, here personally is my opinion on what the difference is. Adventures in Creation Level 1 came out. Now, what I like about this, okay, 20 minutes per lesson, three days a week, includes the daily, daily schedule for activities designed for first graders in year one courses. Right there. These books are designed to be on level with the actual grade level. So if you're looking to have your children stay on target on level, I would really go with the adventures in books. And then if once you get through them, you could move on to the God's design for blank 
series. I feel like this should come first before this. Personal opinion. Some people, they totally skipped the adventures in series and they went straight to this. Your own personal choice. I really recommend to start with this. So like I said, we're gonna be going through all of these, flipping through them, so you guys can kind of get an overview of what it looks like and if it's something that you wanna purchase for your family. All right, y'all, now let's get into Adventures in the Physical World, level two. So this is what it's gonna look like when it's taken out of its backing and put into a three ring binder. The inside still, table of contents, course description, again, 20 minutes per lesson, three times per week, designed for second graders in a one year course. Objectives, course overview, note from our author, Course components, this is gonna tell you what these images on the sides of the worksheets are gonna look like. Helpful tips, recommended resources from Masterbooks. Here's additional resources you could use if you would like. Master materials list. I love this and I've said this in other videos. I love how they give a master list because it beats going through each section and figuring out and writing down on your own what everything you need for you know each section is you have it all right here you can check it off as you need so if you're buying bulk for the whole year you have your list or if you're just going section by section this is a great list to have schedule if you're wanting a schedule to follow here is a schedule to follow the weeks that you should be doing your activity on and then a due date if you want to put a due date here and then a check mark once you've completed it And then you're gonna jump right into it. And this is the first, is the physical world. So I say this at the beginning of each video because I'm not sure if someone has seen my other videos or not. Just so the, you know, you as the viewer know, this is a Christian based curriculum. They used Christ and the word of God throughout the series. They use stories throughout the series. So. This is a Christian based curriculum. If this is not something you're looking for, um, obviously, you know, not much I can say about that. I think that everyone should give this curriculum a try because it's so well, but I understand if you don't want to, I am a Christian myself. So this is a amazing format for me. My kids can learn about the word of God and also learn about science at the same time. Now I actually need a little bit of a bigger binder, unfortunately. So I'm trying to be gentle with going through the pages. My kids love this comic book section. They love making their own comic books. I love this, like the constellation thing. This actually really helps. And the reason I like that they incorporate Bible stories is because it really helps my kids to understand what happened in the Bible in a today's time. When it's kind of hard to imagine, Bible time sometimes. This right here is one of the main reasons why I take it out of the book because when you get to parts like this, you're not trying to rip out pages without like ripping the paper. So when you went to make this activity, I already have it flipped out.
And then again, here is our certificate at the end. And here's also an answer key just for some of the things for this level that you might need an answer key for if you're unsure about something. And then your little advertisements in the back. And that is the end of the level two adventures in creation the physical world as always thank you guys so much for joining me on today's video if you have any questions please feel free to leave them in the comments below i try my best to answer them as they come if there are any videos that you guys are wanting to see always suggestions are welcome in the comments and i will see you guys on the next video